Garrett Wilson. Whoa! What a catch! Touchdown! In the NFL, touchdowns are celebrated for your team and especially your fantasy team. Fantasy owner? <laughs> yeah, they weren't too happy with me. Dallas Goddard is a tight end for the Eagles, and he knows his quiet start to the season is hurting fantasy football owners because he is one too. I have myself on fantasy. I didn't win, probably because of myself. Inside Studio 2 at NBC Sports at Stanford. 10 seconds. This puts a smile on the face of Matthew Barry. I think he's a top 12 play this week. The face of fantasy football. I talk about fake football on TV. Like it's a, it's a pretty good gig and I play fantasy football. Like I, I legitimately can say to my wife, my wife we were like, what are you doing? I was, I'm setting my lineup. It's work, honey. It's work that feels like fantasy. But a dream job? And my answer is always no, because when I was dreaming of jobs, who thought this was possible? Well, surely not this one-time Hollywood screenwriter. Barry left L.A. for Roto World in 1999, a writing job that didn't pay, but his gamble eventually would. Fantasy football is now a $20 billion industry. Experts see that tripling by 2030. People are always like, why is fantasy football so popular? I'm like, because it's fun. Like, it's a fairly simple answer. Like, it's easy to play. It's hard to master, but it's easy to play. Easy until your starting quarterback goes down. Aaron Rodgers is sitting down in the field. He's hurt. When the Jets lost Aaron Rodgers for the season, so did fantasy owners. But you don't need a marquee QB. You do need quarterbacks that ideally can get you points with both their legs and their arms. The Packers replaced Aaron Rodgers with Jordan Love. Fantasy managers can do the same. The work shouldn't stop after the draft. The league waiver wire is where fantasy managers can mine gold, like the 49ers' Brock Purdy. All Brock Purdy does is throw two touchdowns every week and not turn the ball over. He couldn't get open. They weren't looking for him. Texans ran three plays in the red zone last week. On Fantasy Football Happy Hour, Barry sorts through stats to find the edge for your team and his team. All, wait, how many do you have? So I'm in like 16 leagues, you know, because it's the job, right. John, you understand? Is he, understanding is what we're here for. I have just one fantasy football team, and it's, well, it's not good. But if you're 2-0, and oh, doesn't mean you're going to continue to crush. And if you're 0-2, oh it doesn't mean that your team is terrible. Not terrible. That's my fantasy team. But by week five, I'll need help. So I should start targeting teams for trades. If I do need a wide receiver, I know Bill over here has really good wide receiver depth. Anyone else get the feeling this Bill over here guy might actually be one of Matthew Barry's 16 teams? Just hang in there? Yeah, hang in there. Okay.